get started, you need to resize wood. Um, so the four pieces of equipment we're going to talk about are kind of the basics in any shop. There's lots of equipment, hand tools, power tools, stationary tools. Um, we're going to talk about four of the stationary tools that you would use to start the sizing of wood. Um, we're going to start with the joiner. Um, our sample here um, is an 8 inch um, delta. So another piece of safety equipment that you're going to want to use, um, and they're sort of universal in the shop, um, are push sticks and devices that puts something expendable between your hand and the cutter head. Um, now we're going to have a look at the thickness planer. Um, great for making wood thinner than it is. Um, in this particular case we've got a board that's fairly flat already. Um, in a minute we'll talk about a board that has got varying thicknesses. You can see by the surface that the machine has left that this board wasn't uniform thickness. So I now understand how thick this piece of wood is relative to my machine and now I can do I can start processing my thickness. Um, this morning we're going to talk about the 14 inch delta bandsaw which is sort of the backbone bandsaw in probably five or six different boat building shops I've worked in the last um, 25 years. We need to do something that this is more compact um, and there's this really cool folding method where you just have it down here, you stand on it with your toe, with your hand backwards, you just give it a full turn. We're here today to talk a little bit about um, table saw safety. Um, the saw that we have here is a 15 year old um, cabinet saw. Um, if, you, if you try and push this board with a little thing here, it's going to wander around on you. Um, if you use one of these, you can actually clamp down and control that board and hold it down alongside the blade. It's a power tool and you should be wearing eye protection. You're having a conversation like this with an individual and you have to raise your voice to be heard. That's an indication that you're in an environment that's too noisy and you should have hearing protection on. It's one of the tools that I use the most often and it's so easy to become complacent on. You gotta pay attention to what you're doing. If you're getting tired, just turn off the lights and come back another day.